I will not, nor will any, of, any member here at GRPD, accept or tolerate force used beyond that which is necessary to safely make an arrest. Right now, a Michigan police officer is under investigation for excessive force. The investigation comes after cell phone video shared on Facebook shows the officer hit a man dozens of times during a traffic stop over the weekend. The woman who recorded the video is now talking about the incident. She told Wood TV she was home Sunday night around midnight when she heard yelling outside. When she looked out and saw Grand Rapids police, she and her boyfriend started recording. This is what they saw police yelling at a man to get out of a car. Now he appears to refuse and according to witnesses, that's when officers open the door, break car windows, and it's all while the driver's young son was in the back seat. The driver is then tased and seen repeatedly being punched while being held on the ground by several officers. Grand Rapids police say the driver was hit close to 30 times. The woman says she was horrified. It's really scary to watch. You know, they have like kids, you know, looking up to them. And I wouldn't want my son, if my son wanted to be a police officer, you know, I wouldn't want him to look up to, you know, a cop like that. She also says after the incident, she saw the officer smiling and laughing while walking back to the patrol car. That officer is off duty until an investigation is complete. The driver was booked in the Kent County Jail for resisting arrest and driving on a suspended license. Grand Rapids Interim Police Chief also addressed a second arrest from last week, releasing new video showing what happened. It shows a Grand Rapids officer stopping two teens walking on the street instead of the sidewalk, which is against a city ordinance. The officer gets out of his cruiser and tells the teens to get on the sidewalk. They do so, but won't give up their names. They also keep putting their hands in their pockets, which ended with the officer pulling his gun on them. The interim police chief says he understands concerns from the public, but said the officer followed protocol and acted appropriately. Policing is not a pretty, a uh, pretty profession, you know, and there's going to see things certainly that uh, you may not want to see. Again, if these uh, individuals would have uh, uh, cooperated, it never would have gotten that far. One of the teens was arrested for resisting and obstruction. The other was turned over to his parents.